Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is your brother, Chris LaSala. What you're looking at here is a video P. Cabrera put up today, making up lies about what Art Montgomery told him. Art Montgomery does not agree with Pete Cabrera. Art Montgomery did not shut me down from coming against Pete Cabrera. Art Montgomery gave me his blessing to make a video exposing the fact that Pete Cabrera lies about deliverance ministry and lies that Christians don't have demons. Okay, so basically Pete's up here making it like Art Montgomery is against me and said that I asked him to destroy Pete Cabrera. That's a blatant lie. I spoke with Art Montgomery today. John is my witness, heard the whole conversation. Art Montgomery made it very clear that I never asked him to destroy Pete Cabrera. He is going to be releasing a video on it because I'm honoring him and I'm not going to release the phone call that me and John heard on the screen record where he clearly admitted Pete Cabrera teaches lies and he's not in agreement with Pete Cabrera. Pete Cabrera lied in this video and said that I asked three different deliverance ministers to go into a documentary with me, and they all came to him and said that they shut me down. Number one, the man Alexander he's talking about, I never spoke to that man in my entire life. I never had a conversation with him, never reached out to him, Pete, you are a blatant liar. Tom Fisher was never asked to go in that documentary. I did speak to Tom Fisher multiple times about you, and I did tell him that I was going to be coming against your lies. I never told him I wanted to destroy you like you deceptively say in this video. Art Montgomery is going to be, the last one you talked about is going to be making a video explaining the truth about, uh, which is pretty much the exact opposite of what you're telling people. So, Pete, you're a blatant liar, and that's why you took this video down. This video isn't on your channel anymore, Pete. Why'd you take it down? Good thing we downloaded it, because you want to come and spread your lies, and then when you realize it's all going to backfire on you, you take the video down. So go and explain to us why this video isn't there. Go get that guy Alexander in a room and have him tell me that I reached out to him and asked him, being in, asked him to be in a documentary. I don't remember doing that. I really don't remember asking that man anything. Same with Tom Fisher, never asked him anything. Number one, the guy Alexander told you that the, uh, Christians having demons is not in the Bible. I don't agree with that. That's just making my job harder. It is in the Bible. And I proved that straight up with you when we had our debate. So let's hear what you had to say, the lies that you had to say. And you know what? I'm going to say something. Art Montgomery, good friend of mine, I called him the other day, and I'm just putting this out there. Right? Art Montgomery, there's a guy out there. Uh, I just showed you his page. There's a school called the School of the Rebuke. You see that? He called on Montgomery and he said, hey, man, I'm making this video to bash Pete. I want you to come on there. That never happened. I said, I'm making a video about Pete. He teaches lies about deliverance. Do you agree? He said, yes. I said, do you want to be in it? He said, let me think about it. Give me a couple weeks to think about it. He took a few weeks to think about it. He was on the fence. He was almost going to go in it. He decided not to go in it to keep peace between your group and his group. He doesn't agree with you. He thinks you're lying. He wants nothing to do with your doctrine. So all, all the stories you're making over here are blatant lies. I'm going to be posting the video that Art puts up. I'm going to be trusting Art that he's going to put up a video, letting the whole world know exactly what he thinks about your doctrine. And you know what Art said? I said, peace, my friend, man. We may not all agree on certain things, but me and Pete get along just fine. He loves me and I love him. And that's not what we've been called to do. And he shut him down. He didn't shut me down. He gave me his blessing to go ahead with it. He said, if God's calling you to do it, do it. You're right. Pete's wrong. You're right. Go make the video. We left off well. We left off as brothers. We prayed for each other at the end, I think. 
and uh, we blessed each other, and that was it. And I spoke to him t today, and he thinks you're a joke for getting up there and making up this story. Okay? Thomas Fisher called me. He said, hey, man, this guy got a hold of me. He said he wants to make this video bashing you, talking trash on you. I never asked Tom Fisher to get in that video. I did, however, tell him I was making a documentary against Pete's lies about deliverance ministry and his false doctrines. That I did tell him. He was never asked to be in it. And Tom Fisher, if you told Pete that I'm going out there to bash him, shame on you, because I didn't tell you that. I never told you. I would never tell you that. I'm after the lies this guy's ruining people's walk, and you know it, Tom. You know it. You speak against this guy's lies, too, publicly, and you've told me that he's wrong about deliverance in private also. Pete, nobody that I contacted, I, I, I never contacted them because they didn't already make it known to me that they did not agree with you. I didn't just call your friends that I thought were in cahoots with you and ask them to help me deal with your lies. These are all people that made it known that you are a liar on this issue. And many other issues also. Wants to come against you, wants to destroy you. And I said, what'd you say? He said, come on, man. Like, we go way back. You may not figure things. That's great. You, you guys go way back, so he should let you preach lies all the time. I don't think Tom Fisher is, is that kind of person that he's going to get up and let you preach lies forever because you guys go way back and you bought him lunch a few times or whatever. Stop trying to schmooze with people so they agree with your lies, Pete. Let's see them stand next to you and agree with you. Let's see that happen. Let's see us all meet in a room, me, you, Tom Fisher, and the guy Alexander, and we'll see who they agree with when we're both standing in front of them. Things up, but that's not even godly at all. Why would I do something like that? Another guy, right? I don't even want to say who it is, but we, I did a video with him. He got a hold of him, the guy with the beard, right? Uh, Alexander. And Alexander said, hey, he called me. He said he wants to destroy you, bash you, you want to make this video? And I said, what you tell him? He said, no, we don't do that. I never had a conversation with that guy, Alexander, in my entire life. I don't even think I ever sent him an email. I'm going to check my email, but I don't think I ever even sent that guy an email my whole life let alone call him and have a conversation with them. That's not of God. So I got three deliverance ministers who all sign on that because they know better. That's called maturity, right? And so what I'm saying is if three men of God tell you don't do it and you still do it, there you have it, guys. We'll be waiting for it. The only one I did call was Art Montgomery. Hopefully he'll do what he promised me and he'll make a video explaining the truth of what I said when I called him, how I never asked him to destroy Pete, and how he doesn't agree with Pete on this issue. And he thinks Pete is a false teacher on this issue right here. And other issues also. So we'll see, Pete. You could, you could go figure out why you went and took this video down. What do you got to hide now? You went and said a bunch of lies publicly now. Now you're going to get exposed for it, buddy. Be blessed. Stay tuned for part two of this, because I'm going to be posting Art's response to this on this channel. Have a good night.